Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So I have a new free card kit to announce for you. I am featuring the Two A Wild Rose stamp set. This is a beautiful set and I have had it on my list uh, to use as one of my free card kits since December. Um, so I'm so glad to finally be getting to this stamp set. So to receive my free card kit featuring the Two A Wild Rose stamp set, all you have to do is place a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. That's $40 before tax and shipping. I do have a host code that you can use when placing your order and I'll put it somewhere here on the screen. Um, so yeah, just make sure your order is $40 before tax and shipping and you can receive my free card kit. So this kit will be available for all orders that have been placed in my online store from April the 16th through April the 30th. So all right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's video and I'm going to show you my free card kit and walk you through how to complete each of the projects included in my kit. So the To A Wild Rose stamp set is available in a bundle in my online store. So that means that you can get the stamp set with the coordinating dies. These are the Wild Rose dies. So you can get the stamp set and the coordinating dies at 10% off. So it's always best really to bundle and save, especially if you have a die cutting machine, you might as well get the bundle. But you will not need the dies to complete my free card kit because I am die cutting everything for you. But I just wanted to let you know that it is available in a bundle right now um, for 10% off. So we're going to be making three cards. I absolutely love these cards. I think that you will too. So here's the first card. True friendship is one of God's greatest gifts. Hello, friend. And blessed to be your friend. I love these cards. So let's get started. Okay, so when you get your kit from me, everything will come neatly packaged in a cello bag. Um, and there will be envelopes and a full color PDF at the back that has the measurements for each project and then a color picture of each project. And you will need the To A Wild Rose stamp set if you would like to create the cards exactly as I have, but this is your kit. You can make it how you want. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. And then you can find direct links to my online store down below in the video description and also over on uh, my coordinating blog post, which is linked down below. So I'm gonna start by stamping my sentiment on this stitched die cut piece. Um, so this is using the coordinating die that comes in um, the Wild Rose dies. I don't know why I can't remember that name, Wild Rose dies. Okay, so Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Just going to twist, twist, tap, tap, ink up my sentiment. Let me make sure I got the middle good. It's hard to stamp wearing a denim jacket. Okay, so I'll just stamp that right in the center and give it a good press. I think I got it pretty good there. Yep, that looks good. Then I've got this Whisper White layer here. I'm gonna bring in that beautiful flower image, which is really the focal point of this stamp set. I love it. So I'm just gonna ink this image up and I'm just gonna stamp it right about here, I guess. Give it a good press, okay. Then I've got the leaf outline image. I'm just gonna ink that up. And I think I will stamp that right about here. Oh, that was perfect. Next, I have got Old Olive and Terracotta Tile. And I'm gonna be stamping this image right here inside of my flower. So I'm going to stamp that image in Terracotta Tile and then I'm just going to rotate it around until I find where it matches up here with this image. Okay, and I have found where these match up and I'm just gonna press it down and give it a good stamp. Okay, I think that looks good. Then I'm going to bring in some scratch paper and I've got this filler image for my leaves. I'm using this one right here to fill in my leaves. So I'm gonna ink this up in my old olive. Then I'm just going to stamp it off and just stamp it right on to my leaves, just like so. 
So now we can build this card up. So I'm gonna take this little die cut piece of basic black. So again, this is using the coordinating dies. And I'm gonna add this little flower layer on right in the center of my flower with a glue dot. Then I almost forgot, I'm gonna take this little crushed curry center. And I'm gonna stamp that little center in crushed curry ink right on top. I almost forgot I wanted to do that. Whoop, there we go, just like that. And then I will also add that little center on with a glue dot. Then I've got a Whisper White card base here, and I'm just going to give it a crease. So this is the Thick Whisper White, my favorite for card bases. I'm gonna flip this over, put some dimensionals onto the back. And then I'll go ahead and add this onto the front of my card. And I've also added some dimensionals onto the back of my sentiment. And we will just put the sentiment right here in the bottom right hand corner. And there you have card number one complete. I love this card. I think it is so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this one as well. For card number two, I'm gonna go ahead and take my piece of Whisper White that comes in the kit. I'm gonna get my big, large flower. I'm gonna ink that up in my Memento Tuxedo Black. And we are going to stamp this a few times here on our card front, um, or this layer for our card front. So I'm just gonna stamp it first right here. Looks good. Then I'm going to ink it up again, and I'll go ahead and stamp it right about here. And these two are going to overlap, and that's okay. You'll see once we finish this card that that's okay. And I'm gonna bring in some scratch paper here, and I'm gonna ink this up one more time. Actually, no, I'm gonna ink it up again after this. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and stamp it, oh, right about here. And again, it's overlapping with that center flower. That's okay. I'm gonna set this aside for a quick second, and then I'm gonna bring in this die cut. So this is a die cut in Whisper White of this flower image. So I'm just gonna ink this up, and I have shown you this trick many, many times when you are stamping on pre-die cut pieces. Just ink up your stamp flip over your die cut and you just lay it right up on top of your stamped image. Bring in another block, give it a good press, stamp it down. I'm just even gonna flip it and stamp it one more time. And there you go, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna bring back this piece and we are going to stamp the leaf image again um, on this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this image. Mm, let's see, I guess I'll do one right about here. It's okay if it goes off the edge. Then I'll ink it again and I'm going to do right about here and I'm gonna overlap it with that flower and that's okay. And then I'll do it again, right down here, I guess, right about there. Okay, so I think that looks good. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Then you have got some of those, oops, I just got ink all over that. That's all right. My hands are covered in ink. So I'm just gonna rub it actually on my dress. <laughs> Okay, so that should do. I'm gonna ink up this stamp again. I'll just add a little fun look to my project. So I'm just gonna flip it over, stamp it down with a, another block, and let me pick, pull this off. Okay, there's that leaf image, then Pick this one up, ink up my leaf image, and again, flip my die cut over, lay it on top of my inked stamp, press, 
press it again. Why not? There we go. So I'm going to bring back that same filler image for my leaves that we used on the first card. I'm going to stamp it off and I'm actually just going to, since this is just a filler image, it's pretty easy to stamp this. I'm just going to stamp it off and stamp it right onto my leaves just like that. And I'll do it again on the second little leaf image that we stamped. Put it on there. There we go. And then I will also bring in this layer and stamp off and I'm going to just stamp this leaf image. There we go. Alrighty, so there's that. I'm gonna stamp that same image, that same filler image that we used on the first card. I'm gonna stamp that in terracotta tile onto my flower. So let me just find how this lines up. Okay, and it looks like it lines up right there, so I'm just going to stamp it down. And I'll just peel it up. That looks pretty good to me. And then I will stamp my center in my crushed curry. There we go. Now I'm gonna bring in this piece of basic black cardstock. So I die cut this using the stitched shapes dies. So it's got a nice little stitched edge on there. So I am going to stamp my sentiment and I'm actually going to be using Whisper White Craft Ink. I have never used this until this kit. I actually just purchased it. Um, I've never had our Whisper White ink before. So I inked it right before this. I hope it is still good and inky. And I am going to stamp, yeah, yeah, okay. Just not used to using white ink. I'm gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna stamp the hello. Ooh, that looks good. Then I'm gonna bring in the stamp that says to be your friend. And I'm going to bring in some washi tape because I only, why can't I find the beginning? I only want the word friend. I don't actually want the other parts, so I'm just going to take this washi tape and cover everything except for that word friend. I'm just going to ink that word friend up and then I will pull off my washi tape. Okay, and I will stamp down my word friend. There you have the sentiment. Hello friend. And then to clean that that uh, craft white ink off, I recommend using your Simply Chamois instead of your um, Stampin' Scrub. I just feel like it wipes it off better and then, you know, I don't know. I just don't want white all stuck in the because it's kind of a creamy, thick ink, and I don't really want that stuck in the fibers of my stamp and scrub, so I found that it was best to use the chamois and just really scrub it off really, really well. So now we can put this card together. So again, I've got a Whisper White thick card base. Give it a nice crease there on the fold. Then I'm going to bring in my layer and add this with dimensionals. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn my card vertically and I'm gonna add this layer on. Right about there looks good. Then I've got my snail adhesive here and I'm gonna go ahead and add this flower down flat. So just put a little adhesive on there and then I will just line it up let's see right here and this is why it didn't matter that we were doing all of that overlapping because we are covering that with this die cut flower so you don't even see all of that overlapping so now I'm gonna bring in my leaves and I'm gonna leave this one with the three leaves and this one I'm actually gonna just tear off um, this little third leaf down here on the bottom left. Then I've got my sentiment and I've added a dimensional to the top and the bottom. And I am going to have my sentiment be, I'm not gonna press this all the way down just yet, but I think I want it right there. I'm going to add a glue dot 
to the back of each of these leaves and then I'm just going to tuck them in right behind my sentiment. Same thing with this one. Right there. And there you have it. That finishes up card number two. I love it. Such a fun card. I think it's elegant and clean and simple. I really love it. So I've got my piercing mat, my scratch paper ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this large stitched Whisper White circle. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. The first part of the sentiment uses this word, blessed. So I'm gonna stamp that in terracotta tile and put it towards the top of that stitched Whisper White circle. Then in my um, Whisper White craft ink, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment in the center of this piece of bl basic, Blasic, basic black cardstock. So I am stamping the to be your friend and I actually cannot see that. I'm gonna scoot it down. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I don't get my head in your way. Let me ink it one more time. Okay, please let that be in the center. Oh man, that looks better than the sample. Perfect, so I will just set that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and actually clean this off. I don't want it to sit on here. Then you have got these two little leaf die cuts. These are die cut out of pear pizzazz. I'm gonna stamp the other leaf image, this little filler image right here in Old Olive, stamp it off, and then I'm just going to, I don't even think I'm going to flip this die cut over. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stamp right on it. Yep, ooh, that looks good. And then I'll go ahead and do the same to this one. And actually, I'm looking at my sample, and I think I may have used the other leaf image, but this doesn't look bad, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and go with that. And then next, we've got another one of the die cut flower images. And this time I'm going to stamp this filler image, no outline, in terracotta tile. So I'm just going to ink it up, flip my block over, flip my die cut over, and just line it up here. Press it down, put another block on top, Give it a good press. And then just peel that off. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp the center of my flower in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Just throw that right in the middle. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put this card together. Again, Whisper White Thick card base. Then I am going to take my um, blessed sentiment and you can see I have ink everywhere again. You guys, I'm so <laughs> inky. I normally don't have this much ink everywhere, but today's the day. Okay, so I'm going to take my blessed sentiment and add dimensionals to the back. And I'm just going to pop this mm, off to the left and towards the top. So I think right about there looks good. Then, here's where it's gonna get fun, is getting all of these pieces layered on. So, I want this leaf to go doo -doo -doo, right about here. Yep, right there. So I'm gonna add some snail adhesive onto this little piece of the leaf. Then I'm going to grab a dimensional and put it on that long top piece of the leaf. And we're just going to add that on just like that. Then I'm just gonna take one of these black die cut um, floral pieces here and just add it on with a glue dot. I'm just gonna tuck it, let's see. Mm -hmm. Right about there. Then I will grab 
another one of these. There are three in your kit, which I'm trying, oh, here's my other one. I'm gonna grab another one and then I'll pick up my flower. I think I want my flower to go, I'm gonna have my flower go right about here. So I'll just add some snail adhesive to this part of my flower. And then I can just tuck this little bit in that adhesive and then just pop this, let's see, right about here. Then I'll grab a couple of dimensionals and I'm just going to actually tuck them, take the backings off and just tuck them right under here. Press that down, there we go. Then we've got another leaf, so I'm just gonna grab this little leaf and I will grab a glue dot to go on here and then a dimensional to go on this long leafy bit. And we will place this right under here. Oh, let's say right about there, I think that looks good. Then one more little black embellishing piece with a glue dot and we will tuck that right under here and I'll put it right about there that looks good then for my sentiment I am going to snip a little off and then banner the ends with my paper snips just make a triangle there on the end then I've just added some snail adhesive and I am going to tuck this right under that flower and underneath my word blessed. And we will just adhere that right there. And that finishes up card number three. So sort of a detailed assembly, but a really, really pretty card. I hope you love it. Okay, and there you have the three beautiful cards included in my To A Wild Rose free card kit. I hope that you love this kit, you guys, so don't forget you can receive this kit as a free gift from me to you for placing a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store before tax and shipping. You can find a direct link to my online store down below in the video description as well as over on today's blog post, which is linked down below. I do have a full supply list if you are interested in the other supplies that I used um, to help you in placing your order but there is no specific product that you have to order in order to qualify for this free card kit so I hope that you have enjoyed and I will be back again very soon with another tutorial bye now